In Dark Souls, the weapon that you choose to use determines how your playstyle will be for the entirety of the game. A katana will have you mashing like a child with ADHD, or a hammer will have you hyper armoring through attacks like a chad. Today, we will answer the question that no sane person has asked, can you beat Dark Souls 3 with only your fists? Before we can jump into the run, there are a few rules that need to be set. Rule 1. I can only fight using my hands or weapons that keep the fist move set. Any other weapons are off the table for the whole run. Rule 2. I will not be using any summons for bosses. It will be a one-on-one -on -one between the boss and myself. And finally, Rule 3. The run is completed when I beat the Solo Cinder to a pulp. With these rules in place for the run, we can finally begin our journey. I was quickly reminded about the challenge part of this run, and I realized that my damage output is out of a toddler with boxing gloves, as Gundyr beat me to a pulp and took my souls like my elementary school bully took my lunch money. I mean, do you really believe you can stand in front of me and beat me in a straight up old fashioned fist fight? Let me tell you something. Me and you, one on one, no one else around. I will beat your ass like a Cherokee drum. Fueled by both rage and stupidity, I went back to Gundyr to make him my bitch. His first phase consists of parrying him over, and over, and over, one hour later, and over, two hours later, and over, three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. Thankfully, his second phase is relatively easy. I can just punch him in the shins until he goes numb and finally collapses in defeat. Continued on to Firelink Shrine where I plunged the sword into the bonfire and leveled up with a Firekeeper. With my new levels, I am feeling more than confident that the next boss won't be too much of a pain. Finally, we've made it to Vort. Now that we're here, let's do a little damage check. Why won't you die? <laughs> running past all the enemies in the undead settlement to get to the Kestis so we can finally have some real damage. With my brand new Kestis in hand, I met up with Sigurd, didn't wait for him, and together we punched a demon to death. Using the souls I just got from the demon, I bought the Dark Hand from Yuria. Wielding both the Kestis and the Dark Hand, I stumbled across another demon and beat his ass just like the last one as he was minding his own business. I knew that the Dark Hand would not stay strong forever, so I decided to grab a heavy gem to infuse with my Kestis. To do so, I had to fight the Great Wood and then talk to Hawkwood after defeating him. So, in traditional fashion, I fisted the Great Wood and added him to the list of the bosses who had been defeated. Now, with my new weapons and levels, I'm ready to go toe to toe with the Abyss Watchers. Three, two, one, go! Thank you. 
<sighs> These are probably the best graphics I've ever seen in my life. Inside the cathedral, we clean up the deacons pretty easily. Killing them off one by one and finally killing the archdeacon gets us the small doll. Now, with the small doll in hand, I left the cathedral. But before I did, I remember to drop Sigrid his armor down the well where he was trapped. After surely giving Sigrid a concussion, I ran through the catacombs straight to Wolner's room, where he left his cup on the table. I attempted to steal the cup, failed, and found myself in an intense one-on-one -on -one with the hardest boss known to Dark Souls. As we continue to cross boss after boss off of our list, we finally reunite with the Onion Man himself to fight Yorm. With Seaward wielding the Storm Ruler, it's up to me to use my hands to dish out some damage. Together we fisted Yorm, and I got prepared for the tears to flow. only four bosses left until the challenge is complete, the end is in sight. The only problem is that I have notoriously had problems dealing with the next three, and with my range restriction, this could be an issue.
with everything in place, there was only the solo cinder to defeat until this challenge was complete. I knew it wasn't going to be an easy fight, but I'm ready. After a hard battle, I linked the first flame, and finally, I beat Dark Souls 3 with only fist weapons. Thank you everybody for watching to the end. If you liked the video, please consider dropping a like and a sub, it would mean a lot. Also, in the description you'll find a link to my Twitch, where I'll be streaming the full playthrough of my next challenge if you'd be interested in watching that. Other than that, have a great day, and I'll catch you guys later.